Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. And hey guys, thanks for the feedback on the live stream. I'm really happy you enjoyed it. There's going to be a lot more live streams. Why? Because I love them. I'm hooked. And uh, why wouldn't I? It's just some extra added video. It doesn't take away any of the work that I'm doing. What are we looking at here, my friends? The surface of the moon. We're looking at the many colors on the surface with the 14 inch telescope. Uh, we're going to go see that in great detail. This is what we'll be working on, guys, looking at this surface uh, with much more definition. The CGXL 1400 HD telescope I'm going to get. The colors are there. Um, we we're saying it the other day, I was saying it on the live stream, methane gases. I don't think there's any methane gases on the moon. Well, how do we even know, you know? This bridge over top of a crater, or a bridge-like object, makes you wonder a lot when you see this on the surface. Different wavelengths. Now you're looking at an object, natural or not, that was able to form itself that longs across a crater. It's a white passing bridge-like unsymmetrical, sort of symmetrical object. Now, I'm going to show this. I shouldn't because not many people are going to believe or understand it, but the ones that are following me that I see now that do believe me, take a look at this. My friends, this is a city that you're not seeing due to the infrastructure being on a different wavelength. But look at some of them appear. Look at the outline and structuring in the beige here, what looks very blurry and pixelated. It's not. It's a surface of symmetrical structuring. It's all over the surface of the moon. Greenery. I said it. Yes, there is greenery on the surface of the moon. And in the north side, where we are supposed to think there would be snow, right? Well... The surface of the moon does have greenery. It doesn't mean that it's absolutely vegetation, but I wouldn't rule it out. Why would we if we're seeing greenery on the surface? Another thing, while we're looking at these beautiful <laughs> photos, this is uh, stunning, absolutely amazing. Uh, the structuring, you can see it here, guys, okay, while I'm going to be talking um, on the surface, it's the same color. They're hidden, different wavelengths, they're hard to see, they're under a haze, they're all right there before you. Uh, top right, bottom right, center left, top left, everywhere. Um, the surface is so colorful, and when we get in, the closer we get in, this natural color, of course, is right there. This is Copernicus crater, I'm going to get some light on it. Different ways, different techniques that are actually working very well to get the surface. And... Um, you know, the closer I get, the more you will see lines, obviously, and uh, finding different ways for you guys to see the um, photos as good as they are here. And you know what? In this video, you will, because I'm using uh, a different uh, application, actually, to show the photos, so it's not being filmed with the camera. It's direct, uh, direct there. There's a reason for filming um, the surface of uh, a television. <laughs> with uh, my camera because it has to do with my technique and getting in and magnifying and also has to do with the wavelengths. Trust me on this one. And this is a photo of everything, well, not everything, but a lot of things, celestial objects that I get, Jupiter in the bottom here. You can see Nebulae and Orion left. Uh, I put them all in the same um, photo here, just sticking them all the time. Uh, together just to sh give you an idea of the things that we can find out there that are ever so beautiful uh, in space and it's real stuff you know Jupiter bottom right here this is um, my work it's also beautiful artwork you know hey guys have you ever been to brucezall.com well hi everyone how are you doing <laughs> this is my website and working hard to fill both websites Basically, the videos are filled like YouTube is, uh, but what YouTube, uh, what I don't have here is, look at the beautiful astrophotography. Uh, when I do something in um, a video I, and talk about it, I will go post the photography on my website. This was an object beside the sun. 
This is when there was activity on the sun. I wrote the dates um, of each um, event during October, whatever happens, my theories, my information, some facts, information, stars and Orion, Beetlejuice, etc. that I post, that I get. It's all my photography for free that I post here. And all I ask for you guys is to support me and share if you are interested in it. I mean, this is raw footage in Perseus, right here, stars, Andromeda, guys. Constellation of Orion, just absolutely uh, amazing. This is on brucezall.com. Birthing stars right here in the constellation of Orion. Very rarely seen, actually never seen. Um, look at these beautiful photos. Uh, Venus, the sun, different suns in the constellation of Lyra. This is um, my website, brucezall.com, where you can see the photos. And I gave you guys the options, uh, there's Beetlejuice, uh, to look at the photos um, in this size, natural size, which is the original size. You know, everything's there. I'm posting everything for free. So just something I want to do, you know, instead of selling all this stuff, yeah, probably I will sell some nice, nice photos. But in general, I'm showing everything for free. And the myevents.com at the end of my video uh, is just so that people uh, will give what they can uh, give when they can and those who want to and those who are interested and believe in my research. And that's how um, I'll get ahead. And that way I'm not forcing anyone and I'm not selling anything, but I'm showing everything. You know, there's no price to it. Thanks everyone for the support. These are what I'm gonna be working on with the 14 inch telescope, my friends. Uh, the surface does have anomalies, okay? And they're um, symmetrical structuring and objects. Um, absolutely. In the Southern Highlands, I'm starting to label every crater I can, learning myself, uh, the characteristics of each and every crater in the Southern Highlands that uh, are talked about and also some that are not talked about. Um, you're looking at photos, by the way, for the first time. I don't know what it looks like right now, but this is the city, guys. Here it is. I'll show you where it is. I've shown everyone before. See the double crater in the bottom left there? Remember that. Double crater. Look at the city. Beautiful structuring. Whatever it may be, you must agree with me that it's built. Anyone who says that they do not see it are in denial. The structures are right here. I showed you the entire quarter, more than half of the moon. Uh, here it is, right inside there. Um, no jokes. Oxygen blue line. Could it be? Could the moon have an oxygen line? You can see here at the back the beautiful blue line around the moon. Uh, these are what we see on Earth the blue line, you know, obviously because there's oxygen here. They say there's one six on the moon. Could there be more than that? Look at these photos, eh? These are the most impressive photos I've ever gotten and seen of the surface of the moon. Everything's connected. It makes sense. It's structuring. Ancient or recent, doesn't matter. They're there. We found them, and now we're going to go in and see them with the 14. The website contributors... Uh, well, the telescope is on its way. I can't wait. 14 inches, guys. I'm also setting up my garage for next summer, guys, to make a mini observatory. I'm ripping the roof off. Yeah, I'm going all out, guys. I'm getting going into this 115%. Um, guys, take the time to check out WSO YouTube channel Tuesday nights. Steve Olson and I interact. We talk about the sky and sometimes the moon.